Good morning from Lassie and moi. It's half past ten. We need to try and get a, get a little bit of a, a move on, really. We uh, we kind of woke up at about half past eight, nine, <laughs> or but maybe a bit before that, and it was a bit slow in... Well, I'm always slow in getting going, because basically once I woke up at about nine i kind of just you know started to get things you know ready to get going so basically what we've done so far is pretty much the usual you know i put a few spare um clothing items in there as you will have seen from my previous videos i don't have spare clothing but it's like a fleece in there um, and i had a down jacket in there but it's been you know generally so nice I've not needed any of it so I probably will wear my my rab rain jacket I've put most things away mainly mainly I was just going to make one more tea maybe eat that one biscuit there I've had porridge just put my um tea stuff away so once I've done that that goes away oh actually that's my toilet paper that goes away my pot goes in there that's my weather station so that goes inside that goes inside so there's still a few more bits to go inside that I seem to have <laughs> forgotten we're making really good progress it's been pretty miserable weather uh, last night it was uh, blowing a gale well Certainly 30 odd miles an hour wind. <sighs> going, going by the weather forecast anyway, not necessarily so much my weather meter, but certainly from the forecast for this area. And it's been being very blustery. All right, let me get these last few bits in the pack. Stay lassie. In the pack, and then we'll uh, have this tea and then we'll, we need to get outside and you really do need to try and be gone by 11, if at all possible. So it's half past 10, so we're not doing too badly. As long as we can be gone about 11, and then it should get us back to car about 12, which would be, I think that's fair. My only concern is the traffic. It's about a 250-mile drive down the M6 and the M5, on a Saturday in the middle of June. So I kind of hope that uh, the traffic is reasonable, but we will see. Anyway, I'm gonna make my tea and then I will see you all in a minute. Okay, well, we've just left camp. It's uh, about 10 past 11. So this is the end of, of Hard Knot. So basically when you get to this big slab here you can actually also come down here which is like you know a load of rock just before the end slab and you can see there's a good path that goes straight down to the castle or what's left of the castle down there or the fort so and then you got a it's very wet and boggy down through here because you've got as much stream uh, through here as you have path so just be careful and we'll have a look as we go on down and as you can <laughs> hear it is very windy here as well this is the top of the road literally that appears to be the top that's hard not there and that's the path that you come down there's a little lay by in there but it's very small I probably wouldn't leave the car there but there's a a good easy path up there it was quite easy to come down actually and then the fort I'm not going to go over there there's probably a million videos I need to get going but then the fort is basically those actually I've seen the rocks over there it's just a line of stones but the fort seems to be down in that area down there but if the fort was there to protect in front they obviously didn't account for the fact yes they had a huge rock 
behind them as a, a buffer behind, but an easy path down. So if Lassie and I could get down, then I'm sure the Romans or whoever it was could get down easily and attack. So no wonder the fort's not there anymore. So it's about a two kilometer walk back to the car now, unfortunately, on the pass. I would have preferred to have somehow got back without having to walk on the road, but that is pretty much unavoidable, I think. So this is the quickest that I've ever done for getting back to the car when I've been in the lakes. It's normally been a good hour and a half hike out. But that's the advantage of yesterday doing that reconnaissance just to make sure I knew where I was going today so I didn't waste unnecessary time. Now I've been here once, quite tempted to, to do this again. Um, you know, maybe find some different campsites Maybe next time, still camp up on Hard Knot, so I'm not too far away from the car. But this time, because I'll know how to get down, I can maybe camp, you know, a little bit further away. Without any uh, worries, even if it was misty, I'd know how to get down because you would certainly need to be careful because you know quite clearly you're not <laughs> you're not coming down there I mean you probably could but <laughs> I sure as hell I sure as hell wouldn't uh, want to you know to be honest if you could wind your way up you could probably go sort of up that way up that way and straight up there or even sort of up that way over there up there so i mean i certainly wouldn't i mean I'm, i mean i certainly wouldn't go up that way um not now not 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 these days but i think it's doable i think you could go up i think you could go up there um like i said maybe <laughs> maybe 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago, before I was even born, I could like float up there. I, I, th I think it's doable. I think you, there are, I think there's one or two courses that you could go up that way at a pinch. And actually you could even go up You could kind of go up that little gully up there as well. You know, I mean, you know, again, you could get up to the bottom of those stones, up that grass, straight up the gully. So, you know, there's definitely ways that you could, if you were so inclined, and I'm certainly not, as I say, but if you were so inclined to get up that way, you know, then, then you could then you could get up that way. Actually, <laughs> you know, you know I said that was the fort back there. That's not the fort back there. No wonder there wasn't any stones. There was just a few rocks <laughs> back there. I thought it just seemed a bit odd. Um, that's the fort down there. So that, that ring of rocks and everything is the fort. And I, I'm thinking that you possibly could go up from the fort. And that was partly the way that I was thinking of coming down, was somehow coming down to the right um, of those rocks and around the back, and then somehow down to the fort. I must admit, that was kind of what I was thinking I was going to do, you know, originally. Um, but 
it didn't look particularly <laughs> safe or convenient or anything like that so but that would have been a good way to come down if you could then you'd have a lot less on this road because it's uh it's not it's quite st <laughs> it's quite steep it's quite steep going it's not the nicest lassie it's not the nicest um walking down here i have to say <laughs> We came across a little footpath by the road, which was a bit easier uh, going. So we've come off the road, which is just down there. So this is the fort here. So we're going to literally walk um, through or past uh, the fort. Now, I'm just wondering, I'm looking up here. So this is the path that comes up from the fort. And uh, the path obviously carries on in that direction. Um, there's no real obvious path going that way, but I am wondering whether you could go up a bit of a ziggy zaggy and up through there. I think it's probably doable. Anyone watching this, if you've got this far, <laughs> um, you know, has anyone gone up that way? It looks okay. I mean, there's some stones here and there is some stones there. So I can't say it's, I can't say it's a particularly grand way to go up, but I would have thought that might be doable. And then if you could go up that way, then when you come back, you'd be straight down to the car park. So has anyone gone up that way what's it like and I'm assuming that when you get you know to that bit going up there that, that that is pretty much the top it's not you get up there and then you suddenly stuck and you can't get any further that's the only that's the only thing but I think with terrain like that going up to me anyway is always easier than coming down so post your comments below and we'll carry on and have a look at this pesky fort that we thought was back there but isn't but that is <laughs> down here a bit yep a bit <laughs> it's a bit boggy and wet around here but anyway yeah i'm kind of curious as to whether anyone has has gone up that way and what it's like it doesn't it looks it looks steep but I mean it doesn't look you know it doesn't look impossible and it doesn't look particularly dangerous as long as you're careful it's not that steep I think if you were careful as long as you could once you get up to that once you kind of get up around there you still got that buttress right there so can you then get around that one you know to get you know to the actual top i wasn't planning on walking through the fort but as the fort is right in our footpath here is the fort and that is not knotty knotty mountain We've walked past countless S-H-E-E-P without any worry or concern, so I'm not worried about D-O-G. Just walked right past. I'm assuming that we can get down this way it uh, looks like it. there's a path down here. Oh, it's a bit, uh, I mean, sheep are more, 
<laughs> more pestersome than the, than the dog. I think the sheep are more likely. I reckon the sheep have been reading James Herbert or something like that. They probably think they're, they're dog killing sheep or something. I mean, sheep, we've had the last trip. Ooh. Okay, and then the road is just down here. So that was infinitely more interesting than just imagining that we were frog marching like the Romans or whoever it was that built this place um, along that road and probably didn't really realistically take very much longer, maybe a little bit longer, but not too much and god knows where the car is see there's the sheep there and dog there she just ignores them that's training it took a lot of training to do that i must admit that that was a that was a real challenge but one that i you know absolutely insisted on um, more than anything else, you know, I mean, I, she's pretty good with cows. Sometimes she'll, she'll bark at cows, I think because they're, they're bigger and, and the ponies sometimes she'll sort of bark at or something, but she doesn't do anything. She just sort of barks, but even that she doesn't do so much now because I sort of <laughs> give her a mouthful, but because they're bigger, I'm not saying that it's acceptable to bark at them, you know, of course it's not. Um, but because they're bigger and she doesn't actually chase them or anything, and, they don't, they, and because they're so big they don't really run so much, although well, the, the cattle could, so she's pretty good with the cattle as well, but she will occasionally bark at them, but when they get very close to camp, I bring her inside the, the tent with me or whatever I'm in and make sure that she just leaves everything, you know, well alone. But the sheep, that was the one that I was, you know, the hottest on as a puppy. You know, that I was absolutely red hot on. I did long lead training. I did all sorts of recall training she doesn't exactly go. she's not brilliant at recall but that was one thing because a lot of my walking there's there are sheep around more so than cows and ponies although there's a fair number of those as well but there's a lot of sheep where i walk so and especially around Cheddar, where I was taking her a lot in the earlier days. There was like a million sheep. Okay, well, I have a feeling that we are parked in amongst those trees just down there because we, I think we parked there, then we just walked through the trees and then the lane went up the valley up through there so i think we are now actually you know very very close to the end of this walk i do hope that you have enjoyed this it may not have been the most thrilling or exciting i haven't done as much as as i maybe could or should do if I wasn't feeling so lazy sometimes but uh it's my usual video really I get like I keep saying I mean, a lot of lots of youtubers they put the camera down and film themselves walking backwards and forwards and as I said at the beginning of this video or this trip maybe one day I'll try, maybe do that once or twice because it seems to get more views but or at least the people that do that seem to get more interest in their videos, but I'm just too lazy for all that, really. I just kind of, 
Anyway, we're near the end of the walk. I hope you've enjoyed it. And like I said, we will, we will be back in a couple of weeks time on Dartmoor, back on Dartmoor. I'm not gonna come back here now. I might think about September, we'll kind of see how it goes. I might think about September. I'm not gonna come here July and August. It's just gonna be too busy. There's no point in coming here then. But I'll be down on Dartmoor. Lassie, wait, come here. I'll be down on Dartmoor next month in July. And then hopefully something a little bit different at the end of July, but that's kind of dependent on, on a friend. And if that doesn't work out, then we'll be down on, more, on the moors again. Let's see, wait. But like I said, fingers crossed, something a little bit different at the end of July. Um, wait, Lassie. Wait. And then... Uh, And then we'll August, I don't know how much, I might get one trip. I might get one trip. Lassie, I might get one trip in August. Um, pretty busy with family things. Pretty busy with family things. Um, August time, so we'll maybe get one. Lassie, come here. Lassie, come here. Come here. Here. <laughs> God. Yeah, pretty busy with family things in August, so we might do one one camp um, later in August. We'll have to kind of see. We'll have to see how it how that goes. Anyway. I'll see you in the next one if you got this far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, notification, blah, 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 dee, da, blah. See you again soon. Thanks for watching.